Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Davy. Today I have a thrift haul for you. This is also a collaboration with Erin at the Collection Vintage at Home. She has a thrift haul for you too. So go check out her channel after you watch my video. If you're coming over from Erin's channel, I'm so glad you're here. I do videos such as these, simple and thrifted living, homemaking, and motherhood, and I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. Now, Erin has been an inspiration to me since I started YouTube. Um, she kind of got me going on it, actually, so I know she's got great videos. She finds such fun vintage decor, and her home is just lovely with all, basically all thrifted and, um, finds that she's found secondhand. So all right, I'm gonna get started with what I have. So I also found some things free at a rummage sale. So I'm gonna start with that first. This rummage sale, everything that day was completely free. So that was a really fun find. I shared that on Instagram. Uh, it was a couple weeks ago already. But the first thing I found, I'll um, insert a clip so you can see it, is this shower curtain. I'm not sure if it's actually supposed to be a shower curtain. It's hard to show it here, but it looks like they put these eyelet holes in there themselves because it looks like it should be a tablecloth. Um, and I might try it on our bathroom in here. It might be a little bit short for the tub, but it's really beautiful. Got some of that detailing there. So that was free. Um, what else was free here? I found this crock. I don't know if I'm going to use it or what I'm going to do with it, but it was free. I liked the color. It's kind of a brownish, um, bur not burgundy, but like burnt orange color. Um, so that is free. It's probably like a four quart, three quart, not sure. The brand is Jersey Cooking Hardware. So not sure what brand that really is, but just a cute little crock. I thought it'd be fun to warm up like a small batch of soup on there or something. So that was free. And then I found just one piece of clothing free. It is actually an extra large pink clover gray sweater. It's kind of oversized, but truly it kind of fits too. It's got some long detailing on the side, open slit. It's just cozy to wear around the house. I've already worn it a couple times when the temperatures now are getting cooler. So super fuzzy and just nice to have found something like that for free. And then two more things I was excited about because I'm going to use these for Christmas actually. I found this hymn, these two hymnals, um, and then a worship song hymnal book. And I want to use them as a DIY for some garland on our Christmas tree. Um, I saw Andrea at Pine and Prospect Home a long time ago, or quite a few years ago, actually do something like that. And I would love to do that for my Christmas tree. And since they were just getting rid of these and they're so tattered and worn, I thought it would be a great way to repurpose them. If not, I can use them as my vintage book decor that I like to use throughout my home. So that was really all I found for free. And then... I found this um, little wood piece at a thrift store. It has this painting on this side, but it was $2 and then it was 20% off. So like $1.80 or something like that. Um, I thought this would be cute to go under my diffuser or on my shelf back there with a pumpkin on top of it. Something like that. But I just... I had to pick it up because I thought it was super cute. And I guess I could use the flower side in the spring when the time comes around for that. And then candles. Okay, I always love to find candles when I'm out thrifting. So I got these two white candles. They're seven and a half inch for 25 cents each. And I love burning candles in the fall and winter time because it just is so cozy. I don't really like the scented ones, um, but these ones are nice because they really have no scent. All right, and this find was at a consignment store, so it was a little more pricey, and I don't know if I should have picked it up or not, but it is a tobacco basket, and it doesn't have a tag or anything, so I don't know. I don't know if it's a Hobby Lobby tobacco basket or if it's real. It was $12. And I paid the full $12 for it. 
so it's oh I did like two feet by 14 inches but I thought that'd be really cute in my farmhouse rustic decor style that I have and then put like a little wreath on the inside something like that but if you've got ideas of where I can put it, if you've been a follower of mine for a while, please let me know because I have not hung it yet. But I really do like it. I just don't know if it was more of an impulse buy because I've been seeing them around so much. Okay, then two other furniture pieces I found. And you saw one in my cozy bedroom tour. They are two chairs. Now, I don't know if they're truly both vintage or not, but I'm gonna say they are because they look like it. So the chair in my bedroom was a $10 find and it is so beautiful. It's got that vintage antique vibe to it. It's got this floral pattern. It's just so beautiful and truly it's very cozy. Like it just sits well for your posture and I, I could honestly sit in there for a couple hours and don't not feel like I'm going to hurt my back. And then I found this rocking chair at the same. Um, these were garage sale finds actually. So this rocking chair was marked 25 and I got it for 10. So I wanted a rocking chair for our daughter's room because we never did have one. And she does like to rock every once in a while. And so this rocking chair, it needs a little work, but for now, this is how it is. It creaks, so it probably needs some tightening in places. I don't mind the color. It's like a cream, tan, um, te textured color on the chair with a few eyelet details around. But I thought for $10, you really can't go wrong. If I don't use it here, I can use one of the chairs at our little fixer-upper house project. So there's just lots of places to put furniture like that. So those were two chairs and then I have one more find. Okay, so my last find for you is this scarf. It's a blanket scarf and it was $2 at a thrift store. I probably will use it more for decorating, um, possibly. It's got hints of lime green in it, which I did not notice at first, but I still think it might be okay to like throw on my bed or something like that for the fall or for the winter time and christmas time yeah with the lime green i don't know though but otherwise i would wear it too so it's multifaceted because it's a blanket scarf and has some black in it too so it's just a little different than your usual red and green and white scarf so i really thought that was unique Anyways, that is my collective thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Go check out Erin's channel if you haven't yet, and I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day. I'll talk with you in my next video.